Okay, good afternoon everybody. Um, I'm testing out my new Rode microphone. I'm not actually sure if it's working or not. It seems to be giving me a few troubles. The first thing that I had an issue with, you know, I got this one, this one. Uh, one video that I am gonna make, which probably not all of you have watched, but it's the video about uh, my my search to buy a Porsche 911. Now, when I say I'm buying a Porsche 911, if you've watched the video, I'm not buying a new Porsche 911. I'm buying a used 911, probably one that's close to 10 years old, which would be what they call a 997 911. Good morning. Uh, going for a run. It's a beautiful day today. Back at my usual favorite spot. Turnaround point, halfway. Today I thought we'd just have a quick look at the uh, b and Bioplay H7 headphones. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. Um, let me just fix that focus up. That's much better. Today I'm out for another run. It's uh, Thursday morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Take one. Porsche update. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Saturday morning. Saturday morning in Sydney. Um, <clears throat> Today I was actually, I was going to film, uh, this is going to be an update to my, as you've probably read from the title, it's going to be an update to my um, trying to be sensible buying a Porsche 911 vlog from a few months ago. Um, I've had a lot of great comments, uh, a lot of great insights, a lot of great, uh, just everyone sharing you know, their thoughts on the matter and, and, and knowing that everyone goes through the same process has been really great. So thank you for all those comments and thank you for... Um, you know, participating in my channel, it's great. I, I really, really appreciate it. Out for a run again, Monday morning. Beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful day, very hot. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Just made this video today just to give you guys a, um, a quick update on my, on my Porsche story. Um, there's some good news, there's some good news and um, I'm almost there. Hopefully this week it will all be finalized, but um, anyway, let's talk. Okay, so it's uh, Saturday morning, actually it's Saturday afternoon. Today I have been cleaning my new car all day. Don't laugh, uh, it, was in, it was in beautiful condition, but once I brought it back, uh, it, needed a, it needed a good clean. So, this is the situation. I found the car last Saturday and I picked it up on Thursday. Um, I made a decision in a couple of days, <laughs> transferred the money, did all the registration, and now I have a Porsche 911. You want to see it? Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. It doesn't have OEM wheels, remember this, but it's pretty cool. Let me show you. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm filming in the car, so the light is probably a bit strange because it's got the overhead light on and um... Okay, so during the week I had the car serviced. I had a major service done on it. Um, I had the small coolant leak fixed and I had my air conditioning unit changed. I know some people in the comments are saying that I'm crazy for replacing it, but now I have brand new switches, new model. I just wanted to do a quick video today. Um, I wasn't going to dwell on the subject, but I mean, it appears that it, it is something that a couple of people want to know about, um, and that's about the uh, infamous IMS issue and the Porsche 997.1. It's uh, Friday evening in London. Um, I wanted to do this video early today, but time has got away from me. 
Um, it's about yeah, it's eight o'clock in the evening here in London, so. <laughs> Okay, so the light is actually quite good. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I thought this was going to happen yesterday, but it's only happened today. I've just hit uh, 100,000 views. I'm actually over 100,000 views now. So thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Uh, hopefully I can keep producing and getting and, and making better content. And uh, yeah, so 100,000 views since June 2016. Very happy with that. Um, and now, time to enjoy Saturday. Good afternoon. It's, uh, it's Wednesday afternoon in London. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video today. I, for the last few weeks, and I did mention it in one, one of my previous vlogs, and uh, I've been thinking about getting a, an exhaust or an exhaust modification for my 911. Anyway, I've ordered the Fister exhaust. Um, it's supposed to be finished in two weeks, so hopefully at the end of this week it'll be finished. Then it'll be shipped to Australia. Um, I've booked my car in already at Auto House Hamilton to fit the exhaust, so that's booked in for when I get back, the day after I get back to Sydney. Um, hopefully everything ties up, and then it'll be fitted that day. So I'll, I'll do a... You know, uh, the car feels, the, feel, the car feels absolutely amazing. I mean, I don't know what it is about a Porsche, but I mean, coming back, coming back home, and the first thing I do, almost the first thing I do, apart from unpacking my, ba my bags just this afternoon, is jumping in the car, going for a drive, and it's such a, it's such an amazing, I was going to swear then, it's such an amazing, amazing feeling. This car is fantastic, you know? to land in London. I've uh, been flying for about 13 hours. Been quite a good flight. I mean, business class on Singapore Airlines has been exceptional. Noon, it's Friday afternoon. Beautiful day in London. Getting ready to go to Astana. I hate about traveling all the time is the packing. I mean, I'm very quick at it now, but it's it's just one of those things I just want to get out of the way. Just arrived in Astana, in Kazakhstan. Absolute nightmare at the moment. <laughs> Leaving the expo side, it's uh, what day is it today? Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. The expo tomorrow is having a soft opening. I think there's about a quarter of the pavilions open, but um, there's a soft opening for Expo 2017 in Astana. Uh, that's the sphere in the background that you can see, looking very cool. Looks better when it's lit up at night. Um, yeah, so we're leaving now. It's actually nine o'clock at night. No lights, no nothing, it's still very bright here. Um, a lot of construction, but yeah, it's been good. So soft opening tomorrow for Expo um, Should be good Good morning everyone uh, Today is Friday. It's Friday the 23rd of June. Um, I'm still in London I just sort of do a Porsche video today because I haven't done one Let's fix up the face tracking there we go. Um, I thought I'd do a Porsche video and because it's coming up to six months of ownership but more importantly I know before I left Sydney the 911 had 2,000 kilometers so this video is my first Porsche my first 2,000 kilometers. So I guess another important question is should you buy a Carrera or should you buy a Carrera S? Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't have wanted a Carrera S. I like the Carrera S because it has better brakes. I like the Carrera S, uh, certain things about the interior of the Carrera S, the silver trim instead of a volcano gray trim. Um, the extra engine, obviously the extra horsepower. Uh, I like the S on the back as well. It's very cool. <laughs>
Good afternoon everyone. It's uh, it's uh, Tuesday. It's Tuesday afternoon here in London. Um, <clears throat> just a quick porch chat today. I just thought I would update you on how I am pimping my 997. Well, not exactly pimping it that much, but a few things that I've actually ordered that are on the way uh, which will be fitted when I'm in Sydney. So I just thought I'd give you an update about that. So for those of you who know I've been deliberating and thinking and debating whether or not to change my TechArt 20 inch wheels on my Carrera 911 997. So what am I changing the wheels to? I'm changing the wheels to the Carrera S wheel uh, which has a love-hate relationship on the Porsche forums and in the Porsche community I know and that is the lobster claw wheel, the Carrera S 911 Carrera S wheel, series uh, 997.1. Now I'm not keeping the wheel as a standard wheel. Um, <clears throat> I came across um, on the forums on uh, Piston Heads in the UK here, I think it was, or Renlist, no, Piston Heads, Piston Heads, um, a guy called, uh, a company called XL Wheels, Chris from XL Wheels. Today I ordered the wheels um, and I'm getting something special with them which I think is going to look pretty good, which he's done before. It's going to be customised in um, satin platinum, sorry I completely forgot what it is, it's satin platinum, uh, satin platinum which is the same colour of the 911 and 991 20 inch Carrera S wheels, I think it's the same colour as the GT4 wheels, GT3 wheels. Um, so that is going to be the centre colour of the lobster wheel and the outer edge is going to be silver. So XL, Chris at X wheels, I spoke to him yesterday, um, I've organised it all now, um, <clears throat> next week we're going to Portugal for a week so we won't be here and then So we're on the roof of our hotel, on the roof terrace. No one's here actually, they're all down in the bar downstairs. It's very nice, Tasha is here. This is the view, this is the roof terrace. There's really not that much up here, it's pretty barren, isn't it Tash? So this is our first day in Lisbon, we got up very very early this morning. <coughs> we got up at uh, 4.30 or, sorry, quarter to four this morning to get a flight at um, eight o'clock out of Heathrow. So it's been a very, very long day. It's quarter to eight now in the evening here in Lisbon. Same time as Heathrow. Same time as Heathrow. Same time as London. Um, yeah, so we just went and had some dinner at a really good restaurant, which I can't remember the name of, but famous chef here who has quite a few restaurants. So we went to one of his restaurants, only because it was open before seven and we wanted to have an early dinner. But yeah, so just gonna plan out the day for tomorrow. Gonna have an early night tonight because we are really, really tired, but um, it's, it's pretty beautiful up here, it's, uh, it's peaceful, like I said there's no one up here, we could just, uh, you could almost sleep up here, it's so peaceful. Um, there's a few bars actually over here that overlook in the top of the roof, but um, it's nice, it's a really really nice hotel, Memo Principe, Memo Principe Real Hotel. It's only a new hotel, it's only been open for about a year I think, or less than a year. Today we're at, almost at the top of Lisbon, you can see Lisbon in the background, this is Castillo the Jorge, it's not George I don't think, I think it's Jorge, but it's quite an amazing view. Um, we haven't got all the way to the top yet, we're about to walk up, but just check out the view behind me of Lisbon. Our hotel is somewhere there, or there, so it's pretty cool. We're at Bellum Tower today, we're trying to take photos and take videos. <laughs> without any luck because we can't see the screens on our point and shoots Canon GX G7X Mark II and Sony RX100 Mark IV both pretty hopeless in bright sunlight so this is just a quick look at the wheel so this is satin platinum um, as per the GT3 GT4 I think and Carrera 20 inch uh, S option wheels I'm not going to take this off because they're packed, but I'll show you later when they're on the car. So it's got the silver lip with the satin platinum. That's the front, 57.8. Uh, I've got the new caps from Porsche as well. But this is the finish that was done by Chris at XL Wheels here in the UK.
Nomad Jacks spinning wheels in Waterloo here in Sydney or Alexandria. Uh, Jacks spinning wheels, uh, getting the tyres fitted on the new Porsche Lobster at Lobster Wheels, 19 inch. Now I've got the Mitchell and Pilot Sport 2s in the end, the N2 rated tyres. Uh, they're being fitted now, I'll show you very shortly. Come and have a look at the new tyres. It's the first look, Tasha's first look. It's the old tech arts, the new tyres. Good morning everyone, we're at Palm Beach in Sydney, that sun is too bright, we're in Palm Beach in Sydney um, at the Auto House Cars and Coffee. Good afternoon everyone, it's Sunday, it's uh, it's actually Father's Day in Australia today, so uh, yeah. It's actually been, uh, it's actually been 12 months, uh, just over 12 months since I wrote, did my first, one of my first videos about um, Porsche, trying to be sensible. Yeah, so this is, this is the problem with Porsche, they always bring out, they always tempt you with new models, they tempt you with the fact that they do the 99 you know, the 991.2 or the 997.2 where they've improved things just that little bit more where they've improved things just to the little detail where you just want to upgrade. Okay, this um, this image should be better. I'm now back to the Canon G7X. Canon G7X is the camera that I use mainly for my vlogs. Um, I do use uh, my iPhone uh, 7 Plus. Um, the sound on the G7X is better. I have one of these fluffy things which you guys can't see to stop the wind. Not that there's any wind inside today, but the color is obviously a lot better. You know, when you look through YouTube, there's lots of videos of um, what vlogging camera should I buy? What camera settings should I have? What's the best vlogging camera? What I vlog with? Well, this video, I'm gonna do the same sort of thing, but you know, I know no one really cares about what camera I use, but I'm going to show you my main vlogging camera. I'm going to tell you a few reasons why I like using it. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the other cameras that I actually use for vlogging, um, but I don't use so much. Um, I predominantly use two cameras, the first being the G7X, which you're all seeing this footage on now, and the other being the iPhone. The thing with the Canon G7X Mark II is that it has... It has... and I'll just turn this around so you guys can see it. It has touch focus. I've been thinking about doing this vlog for a while actually. I, so it's Friday night. What better thing to do on a Friday night is to uh, look at Porsches, look at the Porsche site, configure some cars, especially the GT3 Touring, which you know, which you know I've, uh, I'm a fan of uh, since it was announced a couple of weeks ago. So um, let's do that. I'm sure you guys have all gone through the configurator before. Um, it's something that I know we all do late at night and we all enjoy doing and just picking the options and seeing what our perfect 911 is. Uh, at the moment, I'm a little bit obsessed with the GT3. Today we're in Vegas. Uh, we just had breakfast. It's Sunday morning. 
Going to do some shopping. That's Tasha. She's in the background. If you walk in just flew the red eye from Las Vegas in Chicago. It's raining. Just went to Starbucks. Yeah, so we've just checked into the hotel and uh, I'm reading lots of things online about how this hotel is haunted. Uh, I'm not sure if to believe them or not, but it seems from the number of articles from Buzzfeed to uh, news, classic news sites that this hotel apparently does have spirits roaming the hall. <laughs> Okay, so we're still in Chicago, Friday afternoon, taking some time out. Chicago is a very, very nice city. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. It's Thursday morning in London. The view is that way. I face the camera this way today because the light is too bright. But today I just wanted to, I just saw the press release yesterday on Porsche Newsroom. Also, it's all over YouTube as well, as usual. Uh, the Porsche 718 GTS. Porsche has just released the Carrera 911T. The 911T apparently, less is more, as Porsche is saying in their marketing material. Now, whether or not this, uh, this new model is a genuine model, or whether or not it's just a marketing, uh, a marketing model, which Porsche seem to be doing a lot of at the moment, uh, I'm not sure. Um, I like the general concept of it. Uh, I'm not completely sure that the 911T, uh, the 911T um, name is correct uh, for this model, but uh, I do like the idea of it. Uh, Porsche chat video about what's happening with my 911. Uh, as you know, I travel a lot and I'm in London a lot of the time of the year, a lot of months of the year, or traveling to other countries. So. <clears throat> the Porsche gets a little bit uh, it gets a little bit lonely in Sydney it gets a little bit lonely and it doesn't get driven as much as it should but when I'm back of course I drive it a lot as you guys know uh, already planning a few drives with my friends so we're hopefully going to do a couple of drives in Sydney uh, my one of my favorite drives going down to Kangaroo Valley down the south coast to the uh, famous bridge which is this one here uh, that road is a good one, I like that road. Uh, it's only a short trip. The other one is the uh, Putty Road in New South Wales, which goes up through to the Hunter Valley. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, it's Sunday morning. It's actually very early, well, very early for me. I think it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I just wanted to do a short video today. Uh, I've hit a milestone on YouTube, and I know compared to other channels out there, it's not very much, but it's a very big milestone. My first milestone, as you know, was 100 subscribers, which happened uh, almost a year ago, I hate to say. It's taken a long time. Now I'm up to 1,000. I just hit 1,000 subscribers uh, last night or early this morning. When I woke up this morning, I had 1,001 subscribers. So I just wanted to do a quick video and say a big thank you to everyone who's uh, been supporting my channel. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I started this channel back in uh, June, June 2016. June 2016, I started. I, I posted my first video when we were in... Uh, I think we're in Paris. Uh, the, the channel's changed a lot since then. Uh, Stop here my collection belongings from the luggage bins. Please be careful that items may have moved in the flight and could fall out. Still in Osaka, we just had a really, really great, great bowl of ramen. It's pretty crazy here. Uh, there's Tasha. Um, yeah, so this is the first vlog from Osaka. Yeah, so the Bose, um, what are they called? Bose SoundSport Free Wireless. The Bose SoundSport Free Wireless I bought in Japan, like I said. 
I haven't really read that many reviews about them. Um, I don't think they're available in the UK at the moment. Good morning, everyone. It's, uh, it's Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning in London. Uh, very cold day here in London again, very cloudy. Uh, but in three days, I will be in Singapore. So back to, I think it's 31, 32 degrees in Singapore. God knows what the temperature is in Australia because then I'm back to Australia after that. A one-stop Porsche collection. Is there, can you just go to one place and get a one-stop Porsche collection? You know, looking at classic, classic throttle shop and looking at the cars they have at the moment, you could almost do it. You could almost do it. Uh, let's take a look. So, good morning everyone, good morning. As you can see, I'm back in Sydney. I'm back in Sydney. Uh, it's, there's a lot of, uh, I'm in a suburb called Paddington here in Sydney and there's a lot of speed bumps, so it's probably not the best place to drive. Uh, I've been struggling to make this video. Uh, I tried to make it the other day and with no luck. So, this is my second attempt to post my first video. Good evening everyone, it's, it's uh, Wednesday evening. <clears throat> Sorry about the croaky voice, it's been a long day. Uh, there's the 911, it's in the background. Yeah, so just a quick unboxing this evening of the, uh, I keep forgetting what it's called, the Apple Watch Nike Plus Series 3. So today we're going to talk about Porsche codes, Porsche naming, and cracking the code. Let's crack the Porsche code. I'm guessing a lot of you guys already know how to read the codes of Porsche or Porsche. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who are new to the brand who still don't really understand what all these names mean. What's a 964? What's a 993? What's a GTS? What's a Turbo? Well, Turbo's a pretty easy one, actually. Thanks for watching. Bye um, for now. Anyway, bye for now. Thanks. It's crazy for a November. It's crazy. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Until next time. Thank you. Bye. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching today. Uh, you know my name is Michael Barth, but this is my YouTube channel. Hope to see you guys all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.